basically as a businessman, I started out in a family owned and operated business. Always loved cars. My first car was a 69 Nova with a six cylinder. Second was a 48 Chevrolet pickup truck. Um, I think when you look at reliable carriers today, it, we started off as a mom and pop company. What we sell is quality. It's what I believe in. It's what everybody shows day in, day out. Pretty much been at the helm. I've only had a couple other jobs. I worked at a restaurant, I grew up on a farm, always enjoyed automobiles, and, and certainly doing automobile transport now and love my job. Anybody who loves AMC hopes that when they die, heaven looks like Tom's AMC collection. He has not missed very much of any of the very special cars that AMC produced, from regular production cars to limited edition optional AMC cars to race cars. They had this, this funky, whimsical feel to them that people really loved, and, and he's got them in his collection. I've always been thrilled with speed, and, and what I tried to focus on was their best and fastest models. I tried to focus on the color combinations, the brightest, the wildest interiors you could put into them. Some of their history cars, or the Breed Live car, you know, they did a three of them. That was the one that set the record, so it was important to have that car. The AMC, the super stock cars, the red, white, and blue cars, and there's nothing better. They, they built 50 of them, very, very fast, competed against which the Hemi darts and things on that order. They cover just about every area of the American automobile experience, from little economy cars to muscle cars. They raced in Trans Am, won a championship. They raced in drag racing and won a bunch of events. And uh, eventually, they were the umbrella company for the Jeep. So in retrospect, there's really not much that American Motors hasn't accomplished throughout their history. We're bringing some great examples. We're bringing multi-years of the AMXs. You could have a Javelin, you could have an AMX. The AMX was the performance version. It was a young person version, bright. It had the gotcha colors, side pipes on it, no back seat in some of them. You know, some had small back seats. That was, you know, to me, that was the crown jewel for American Motors at the time. The thing about the the AMX was that it was not a raw, over 400 horsepower, tire shredding muscle car, but it had great styling thanks to a fellow by the name of Dick Teague at AMC that was very imaginative. So people really weren't that concerned that the cars couldn't blow the doors off everything else, but they looked great, they were fun to drive. And again, a two-seater, uh, that was a fairly unique class for a car to be in back then. The AMC Scrambler, it was, AMC's answer to what was happening in the muscle car landscape all around them. They needed something to fire back with, and this was the car they used. Not overly powerful, 315 horsepower, 390 cubic inch V8, but they had four-speed transmissions, that wild red, white, and blue paint scheme that you could recognize from a mile away, and it was a one-year only car. They had two of them. They had an A model and a B model. A model was really in your face, bright colors, hood scoop on it, telling you up to tell you what side of the car is up or down. They didn't sell a lot of them. So they had the B scheme. They came out and they destroked it a little bit, changed the color combination. It's just, instead of red, white, and blue, it's, it's pretty much white and blue. Between the package of the two cars, you have two of the best. When AMC brought out the Gremlin, that was a car that you either loved or hated. It had a cartoonish appearance. The styling was so unlike anything else on the road. No matter what angle you looked at it from, it just didn't look that right. But they sold like crazy. When we look at our Gremlins today, catch everybody's eye. Um, you're not gonna see a lot of them when you take them to a car show, but the Gremlins are really unique. In 1968, AMC built a Javelin, and they made no secret of the fact that this was to compete with the Mustang and the Camaro and the Firebird. The cars were stylish, they had a lot of options. Probably the most unique one would be the, the Donahue car. It is a Sidewinder exhaust on it. It's a gorgeous car, big spoiler. It, it was, you know, to represent Mark Donahue, which was a racer at the time. Very few, a limited edition. Even though uh, its history was short, it ended in 1974, until this day, the Javelin is still remembered as a pretty kicky kind of muscle car. The one year only 1970 Rebel Machine was actually the most powerful muscle car that AMC produced and that ever familiar red, white and blue paint scheme that people loved. We restored that one from the beginning. It's gorgeous, which really makes it unique. It's a four-speed car, has air conditioning. Um, so that would sort of be compete on the uh, line of a Chevelle, a big, big car. But, but that was their answer for the SS396. 
With each passing day, the number of AMC muscle cars are slowly dwindling. Every one of the cars in his AMC collection has a great story behind it, and they're stories that are so rare, you could not apply them to perhaps any other muscle car that anybody built. Well, I think when you look at my AMCs, they're second to none. You have a wide variety. Uh, most of them have been just freshly restored. A lot of them have never been out, never been shown, never been driven. In turn, you're, you're starting fresh. You'll be the first one to take it to some of the car shows. It's going to be fun to see what happens when these AMC cars from Tom's collection hit the block because in isolated circumstances at our other auctions, we've seen Javelins and AMXs come to the block and many of them not with the provenance, the rarity, or the, the, even the appearance of his cars because they've all been restored to perfection. So I would expect a flurry of bids from people that have been wanting an example of these cars and are finally going to get a chance to bid on one and perhaps buy it.